Hey folks, I'm hoping you saw Web video where he was helping me to create a data session login in the most effective way possible. So here our application is a view application that's using AWS Cognito login. And I'm just going to show you what it does with UI login and programmatic login. But after that, what I want to do is compare site session to Cypress data session. So if you're not familiar with either of these, site session, you do a first UI login and all the subsequent logins will be faster. It's shared between eight blocks or across spec files. The distinction of Cypress data session is instead of a UI login, you have the programmatic login. But Cypress data session is capable of a lot of other things. So if you're doing API testing, it's going to save you a tremendous amount of time with data. And it's totally worth learning it and mastering it. And worth taking Gleb's plugin courses about it. There's so many. You use it at extend and it saves us so much time and money. That being said, let us show you a simple UI login, just so you're familiar with the application. It's a Twitter clone. Um, it's from Yantri's AppSync course, and I added a bunch of end-to-end -end and component tester. So the UI login took 13 seconds. Let's just run it again to make sure it's around there. This, this, there's no site session here. It should be around the same. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll call that 12 seconds. Okay, so your login is 12 seconds. And then we'll try a programmatic login. It should be about five seconds, I think. Perfect, yes, five seconds. So if you're using programmatic login, each test saving us seven seconds would be amazing. But how do things look when we're using site session? or Cypress data session. So here I will run the same test 10 times. So initially it will do a UI login. And then after that, it's going to restore the session. So the nine of them, uh, we'll see the first one's creating it. The second one's going to restore it. And I'll just pause the video so things are a little quicker. Let's restore it. And we are done at 38 seconds. So we'll Take a note of that initial round. So this was, I'm guessing the first UI login was 12 seconds and then we'll see how long the rest of them were in the second round. So let's do the same for beta session. So I'll just run that 10 times two. Okay, beta session. So the first one is going to say, this is your first session, so it's gonna make some API calls to the back end. The subsequent ones will say session is still valid and it's going to be faster. All right, let's just pause again. All right, this is interesting, very interesting because this one took 47 seconds. That is very interesting. All right, we'll do a second round with each one. So this time, what we'll be comparing is the first test is still going to be cached. So it's going to be faster. So we're kind of eliminating the programmatic login. So first we'll do data session. Let's pause. Okay. So this, yeah, as I thought, it's about five seconds shorter. So it's 43 seconds because that's how long the programmatic login takes. So that makes sense that, you know, there's like a four second difference between the two. Okay, so let's try session login, and that's going to restore the first one. Here we go. So it's not even doing the UI login. So we're comparing only how fast either one restores the session. And we're done at 41 seconds. So this is very interesting. So what this tells us is site session is slightly faster 
than Cypress data session when it comes to and how did it run initially with 38 seconds I don't know so I'll I will run this again just to compare uh, while pausing the video um, and we'll see I want to actually do that first one because that one doesn't make sense because we did a UI login so this should have been longer we'll see all right this is the second take at least it's consistent I mean the second one is again 41 seconds so that's good let's do the data session again all right 46 seconds hmm. I mean, this time it came out a little slower which is interesting so they do vary here and there but just for my sanity i'll do i'll clear the sessions and run each one again all right we'll start with session logging first and i really want this run to be slower than the initial run of data session because ui login is slow right let's pause all right so that's that's as expected 48 seconds uh, maybe i made a mistake maybe i typed this wrong but this is real right i would i would say scratch this first run i right, will do the first run through of data session too we're almost done to six seconds okay i mean this is about the same i mean I'm, I'm, yeah at least even i mean yeah, i'd like to see that at the initial round cyber status session is slightly faster but yeah looks like sometimes i mean the difference isn't that much right um what's very interesting is in the session restore capabilities because that's essentially what we're comparing right like you got programmatic login ui login and then so many session logins and that is faster for side data session so if you look at the code uh, there's in the session login we're doing a ui login which i'm not going to show easy just fill in the blanks there's the validate function what that does is the same between here and down at the programmatic login one key information is that we're taking advantage of the fact that site session is retaining the local storage between the subsequent execution so we're using that command and a should assertion so that it can retry this um, and the programmatic login site the initial code is yes it's a little complex but this only runs once and then you saw the part where Gleb helped me to return a value from here so that we have a reference to local storage we, have, we can save that just so that we can use it in the data session implementation so we do that programmatic login function runs the yield the return value of that which is the parse that stringified local storage that's available here passes into that function it does its validation if things are still there the values further passed on to recreation and then we are setting the local storage with those values and then doing the visit so it is a little more complex than comparing it to the session login there's a cost of initial um, development of it but the interesting part is even in execution right site session is slightly faster in restoring these sessions and perhaps it's because of the things that we're doing here this is how it works in this repo so uh, try it out if you have programmatic login versus your login try site session versus data session you might have different results uh, here are my results site session is faster but certainly this is only for ui login and i would strongly advise to master cypress data session and if you're doing api testing use it everywhere in your api tests also take clips course that's all enjoy cheers